What is going on, my friends? Another video today, and today we're talking about the bugs that were introduced with update 5.1. Again, this is one of the very best updates ever released in the history of this game, if not the very best update ever. However, you know that every single update that they do, they fix old bugs, and unfortunately, they unwillingly introduced another bugs. And today, I want to talk about the probably the most annoying bug that's currently in the game. It is around weak point attacks. All I heard is that weak point attacks doesn't work with power drain and doesn't work with pieces of equipment such as the varming hat. So in a way you cannot really snare on power drain which is unfortunate. I only heard that it works with Injustice Raiden but I don't really uh, use Injustice Raiden that much. Please let me know in the comments whether you tested this and weak point attacks actually does work with Injustice Raiden because if this is the case at least you're going to have some way to go around that bug. However, this is not the only thing. There is another uh, bug which is actually a good one. Uh, it is about uh, Sindel. If you see now, my Sindel is uh, Fusion Zero. And if you take a look at her, you'll witness that I haven't upgraded her passive. I wanted to upgrade a passive, by the way, but all the passive does is upgrade the number of counter attacks from one to three. Look at this, nothing else changes. 25, 25, 50, 50, one, three. So if I go now, as you can see, uh, I'm going to strip her naked. <laughs> no equipment allowed on Sindo. And if you see that if I go to a Faction Wars fight, for instance, right now, I'm going to recharge so I can get this one. Uh, I, yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate because I, uh, from 100, I'm going to drop to 99, but it is what it is. Anyways, uh, the reason why I'm doing that is so, so that you can see that um, she will start the fight with three assists, which is cool. So if you happen to get Sindo in your roster, there you go, you see she has three. So if you happen to get uh, to get Sindo, then make sure that you don't upgrade her pass. If it's not worth, it's going to be a total uh, waste of souls. Apart from that, there seems to be some kind of bug uh, associated with freezing. I don't know how it works. But it soft logs the game. You stay frozen forever. I had this case while one of the lizard team reflected my. I, I was using um, the thing, um, well, the item that freezes you on tag. I forgot its name. I'm sorry. So I was using that item, and one of the lizard team reflects my stun, and uh, I'm going to lose that fight. But it doesn't matter really. So, uh, so my f uh, freeze was reflected to me, and I stood there. Uh, oh my God! Look at this guy here. <laughs> resisted so many special attacks. Yeah, so I will got frozen forever because they uh, reflected my freeze. It was super, super weird. Also, uh, I heard that MK11, uh, sorry, not MK11, but uh, Circle of Shadow Night Wolf was doing that thing uh, again. So uh, they tried to do something with MK11 Night Circle of Shadow Night Wolf, and they got frozen. And again, they were there forever. They were frozen forever. That's another bug with the game, unfortunately. Uh, but the Sindo bug is a cool one because as you saw, you don't have to upgrade her passive. I think this is a W for the community, at least while it gets fixed. But there is another bug which not many people care about. It's about Kuai Liang Scepter. Uh, if you're planning to using that piece, uh, it doesn't really work. You know, Kuai Liang Scepter description says that as long as the enemy is frozen, once you're doing any type of special attack, or any type of attack, it's going to be lethal. Unfortunately, this is not the case now. If the enemy is frozen, I have Kuai Liang Scepter maxed out. I tried to do special to flu cane. Uh, it, it wasn't a lethal hit, and I tried it multiple times. So sadly, Kuai Liang Scepter doesn't work at the moment. So try to avoid using it, except if you want to use it for the bar starting power, which uh, still works. There are still another bugs that is very, very impactful for me, personally, which hasn't been fixed yet. Uh, characters that do special attacks while the enemies are on the ground. I believe that's a very, very good uh, mechanic in the game, and I don't want it removed from the game. For instance, this was classic rain. You can do special two, and while the enemy is on the ground, you can immediately do special one, which is super cool because it nullifies your need to use block break on classic rain because you can change special two into special one and just start doing your special one thing. Uh, however, at the moment, you cannot do that. The, the game simply won't allow you to do special one if the enemy is on the ground, lying on the ground. So I have to wake him to get on back on his feet. Uh, same situation is with MK11 Lucane. The reason why I maxed MK11 Lucane in the first place was because of his very good chaining, and his chaining was involving the enemy being on the ground. The enemy is on the ground, you start your chaining, and you intercept him while he was standing up, and you start your next combo, then followed by special one, and you repeat, and it was super cool. Unfortunately, now it doesn't work because of that bug, and this bug has been in the game since last update, uh, and I hope, I really hope they're going to fix it in December, 
when probably the next update is going to roll out. I really think that MK11 Lucane, many people love him because of his special one chaining. Some people say that the character le strength lies in his special too. I agree, but in my opinion, the bread and butter of Lucane was spamming his special one and doing this endless combo. It was much better than doing special two, which in a lot of cases is going to leave you vulnerable, especially if you kill the opponent character. The animation, the recovery animation after his special two is super long. It uh, is very, very close to the animation recovery of MK11 Scorpion. If you do special two and kill somebody, then the next guy tagging in is definitely going to hurt you. So that's a little bit unfortunate. I'm not saying that MK11 Lucane Special 2 is bad, it's super good. All I'm saying that uh, you have to be careful when you're using it. And mainly, uh, once I maxed out MK11 Lucane, I mainly did that because of his uh, combo when the enemies are on the ground, so that you can spam Special 1. It was super cool, unfortunately it doesn't work. Also, Classic Movie Raiden Special 2 still cannot trigger uh, Team Sock. I don't know why, it's a lightning attack, but it doesn't work. The only thing that works is the thing that he does afterwards, his specific strike. It does work when the enemy is team soak, but unfortunately his special 2 still cannot trigger it, which is super, super unfortunate. Uh, and let's see, I have a list of other bugs, so I want to uh, showcase... Um, yeah, dots now bypass invulnerability, uh, which is interesting though. And one of the things that I hate about um, the, the patch notes is that they miss specific things. If they have decided to add this mechanic, so dots bypass and vulnerability. They should have mentioned it, but instead of that, they mentioned that they changed the title of a button. So instead of going to the crypt, now it says continue. This is not a big deal. However, dots having the ability to bypass and vulnerability is a big deal because it's going to change your gameplay. However, if this is the case, I hope this is not a bug. Actually, it doesn't matter really. All I want is to know whether it's a bug or it's a mechanic that they intend to go forward with. Unfortunately, we don't have this information, so we can list it as a bug at the moment. And more or less, that's it. Yeah, there is a bug involving Goro. And in general case, Goro arrives much, much faster compared to before. Uh, but apart from the weak point attack bugs, the rest is not really something groundbreaking, a horrible bug. So I'm kind of satisfied with the bugs. Uh, there is no open fail bug. Uh, Crypt doesn't really crash. At least I did it like 16 or 17 runs and never crashed on me, not even once. So I'm happy for now. Please let me know whether you found other bugs in the game. But at this point, uh, if they fix the enemies lying on the ground, if they fix the weak point attacks and don't introduce new bugs, the bugs that we currently have are not really that uh, horrible. I mean, we had much, much worse bugs. All right, so this is going to be all for you today for now. And see you next time, guys. Have an amazing rest of your day. Cheers.